Hello, and hey, ladies and gentlemen. I am Professor Jellyfish, and this time I'm going to talk about one of the animals that I most commonly come across while swimming through the cold Nordic waters of Sweden. The peacock worm, or the Sabella pavonina. This curious little worm lives most of its life inside tubes that it made from mud and fine sand that are held together with mucus. Sort of like if you were to build your own house out of dirt and it was held together by boogers. Actually, it's more like you made a sleeping bag out of dirt and it was held together by boogers. Slimy. On this creature, it extends six feathery tentacles. It looks rather fancy and beautiful. It is, of course, a marine polychaete worm that belongs in the family Sabellidia. So it comes from a family of rather fancy feather dusters and has the pedigree to show off its colors. Though so try and ignore the rather suggestive mouth at the center. These tentacles are not just for show, however. They are used to catch whatever passes through the water by guiding it towards the mouth in its center. So again, ignore it. This makes them filter feeders, essentially the garbage collectors of the ocean. Perhaps it's close to hitchhikers, or a mixture of the both. But regardless, they are slow and gentle eaters. A common tactic in nature. Why hunt when you can just wait for food to fall into your hands? A rather effective process, I might add. Though of course, when you constantly extend your arms to eat whatever drifts into them, you probably don't want anyone to touch them. And of course, evolution made sure that the peacock arm was able to draw its arms faster than a western gunslinger. This makes the pictures you are now seeing rather difficult to take. Since they can withdraw their arms like, how did I manage to get so close then? Well, it obviously takes a careful trigger finger, a gentle control of your camera, most importantly, you must be able to approach with a caution that would make a surgeon jealous. And then there's the dirty little secret of the trade. And this is that you have to slow your breath. A golden rule of diving is that you should always uh, breathe and never hold your breath. And this is something you should live by. Because if you hold your breath underwater while scuba diving, your lungs will pop like balloons if you rise too fast. Now, as a jellyfish, I of course don't suffer from this problem. It has its advantages to be able to breathe water. But you bony humans might have to act with more caution. And the peacock worm does have its reasons to be concerned. It has a constant deal with bitey fishy fishies that try to bite and chomp off the tentacles that it uses to eat. I mean, if someone was trying to eat your fingers, you'd probably try and pull your arms back. I wouldn't know though. I'm a jellyfish. My tentacles are filled with stingy, ouchy, harpoony thingies. Remember, touching my arms hurts you more than it hurts me. But this quick withdrawal is not always enough to be able to cover its arms, let alone stop it from dying. Yes, like every other creature on this planet, even the peacock worm has to contend with the concept of death and eternal slumber. One of the most ferocious predators that like to eat the peacock worm is the football jersey worm, or as it should be properly called, the Christmas gift worm. But regardless of its name, this worm doesn't come around to play football or celebrate Christmas. It only brings death to the peacock worm. It does so by following it inside its mucus made too, before eating it alive in its own home. Just remember, if you are having a bad day, be happy that you are not being eaten alive inside your sleeping bag by a Christmas colored worm. That's all I had for you today. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.